And Jesus answered him and said, The first of the commandment is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Two parts of the New Testament, give us a very clear indication that to be right with God you need to worship the Lord God with all your heart and love your neighbour as yourself. How many people here today in Manchester love God with all their heart and love their neighbour as self? How many people make any sacrifices for their neighbours? How many people spend more time praying to God and talking to God about the things that are important to them? 150,000 people die every day for 7,000 people an hour. The Bible says the road to hell is wide. Why? Because people don't know God. People don't love their neighbours themselves and above all, people have not received the price that Jesus Christ has paid for them. Some people believe they haven't sinned. It's a grave sin not to love God with all your heart. People today spend 30 hours a week watching television, going on the internet, spending time with their friends. The Bible says you need to love God. God made man for a purpose, to enjoy him. We have 10 commandments. These aren't suggestions, they are commandments. One of the commandments says you shouldn't tell a lie. How many lies do you need to tell before you are a liar? Just one. If you lie in court, that is perjury go to prison for a long time for committing perjury. This church behind me hosted uh, John Wesley many years ago, a tremendous man of God. He travelled the world preaching about Jesus Christ. He's quite possibly Britain's greatest ever preacher. If you're standing here today, he'd say you must be born again. Please don't be one of the 150,000 who die each day and the vast majority go to hell if you repent and believe on Jesus Christ, you will pass from death unto life. And here we have a building, it's been there many, many years. Once upon a time, the gospel may have been preached here. Is it preached anymore? I doubt it. But you can be saved right here, right now. You don't have to go to church to be saved. You don't have to say a quick prayer. All you need to do is repent. That means to be sorry for your lying, to be sorry for not worshiping God with all your heart and not loving your neighbour as yourself. When you do that, Jesus Christ will save you and he'll clean you up. Uh, a very old building behind me, uh, John Wesley preached here. What a tremendous man of God he was. He crisscrossed the globe uh, many times on horseback, 14 to 16 hours a day. Uh, the reception as usual is mute, but people hear the word of God, whether they uh, accept it or not. And it's the job of every Bible believing Christian to preach to evangelize and to warn people that uh, life is uh, but a vapor. Thank you for this video, blessings, and uh, I'll be speaking to you soon.